Next up, we have Arjun Jain and Adam Elkasas. They are from Down to Chill, an app built with Meteor and Famous. Yeah, so hi, I'm uh, Arjun. And I'm Adam, and together we built Down to Chill. Along with Michael, who's somewhere <laughs> he, there. He left. He oh. left, but... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, All right. Okay. Yeah, so anyways, um, we feel like the biggest problem with social media these days is that it doesn't actually make people more social. Um, the only way, if say I wanted to go grab dinner with a friend or go to the movies, it, the only way to get in contact with them is basically to direct message each one of my friends separately, hoping that one of them will respond and one of them aren't busy. And um, the next thing is I don't know what's going on in my area, um, and those two those two factors really are the two things that play a part in someone's social life. Which one of my friends are down to do something with me and what's going on right now? So yeah, once again, I could either send a message to each one of my friends hoping that one of them would respond, but is there like an, a more easy, more efficient, frictionless way to kind of tell your friends all at once that, hey, I wanna, I'm down to chill right now, I wanna put myself out there. Um, and also have transparent information of which one of my friends are down to chill and also what's going on in my area. So that's where down to chill comes in. And you simply log in with Facebook in one uh, swipe and then you tap a big button to indicate that you're down to chill. And then we, and then we uh, basically we match you with other friends and activities in one simple easy stack um, that you can swipe through one by one um, of either friends or activities. And uh, once you match with a friend, you can easily send a message through the app to um, connect with them and uh, plan your get together. But the difference between the message that you're sending on Down to Chill is that when you send this message, you already know that the person actually wants to hang out with you and that they're free. So there's no um, flakiness that comes with the modern way that people try to get together with people. Um, in addition, you can follow um, certain activities that are, are going on in your um, local area and then receive notifications whenever anything's posted in those um, those activities. And I'm going to pass it to um, Arjun. He's going to explain our tech stack and how we built out the app. Yeah, um, so one thing that's really great uh, about us is that we're both on the Android and I iOS app store and it's one code base for both, right? Um, so that just makes it a lot easier so we don't have to handle like Android code and iOS code, right? So you can really use Me Meteor to build this one app that works on everything, right? Um, and one thing, and w one of the major things too is that we don't have to push updates to the App Store, right? Because what the app really is is a phone gap web view, right? So all we have to do is change the website and the same change will happen on your iPhone or Android phone. Um, so yeah, and then um, and then so we're on Opsworks, so everything scales and everything. We we did like load. We 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 made sure that you know when anyone is is on the app, everything works s smooth and stuff. Um, so yeah, so this is like a Chrome instance of the um, of the app. It'll it'll be the same same thing on your on your phone, right? Um, so we use uh, Meteor's reactive nature and everything in the app, right? Because we, we really want people to um, hang out in real real time. So so I can either like swipe up or down on him. So I don't know, I guess I'm down to chill with Adam. Um, and then, OK, it looks like he was de 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 down to chill with me as well. So we both matched. Um, and then I have a little chat here. And then I can see, OK, yeah, so, so these are all the people I've um, matched with in the past and stuff. And then, um, and then on the sidebar, you can also explore, kind of see like what's happening in the area, t talk about everything. Um, and yeah, uh, if you guys would like to ask us anything of uh, how we built the app and stuff, please feel, feel free to ask us. Awesome, thanks so much. We have a question over here. Yeah, uh, so you're using WebViews, was that? particularly to save time and to get there and you're just happy with the results so there's no real reason or do you look to go to native apps very soon and you're just not super happy with the results or? Um, so to repeat his question, he was asking, um, have we used web views in practice um, and ha have we actually implemented this on the actual iOS and Android um, stores, right? 
So um, yeah, our app is actually out on iOS and Android um, right now. We use Cordova to interface with the phone. And um, we use the web view in, in basically for the reason that we wanted to integrate Meteor with it and make it really easy to push updates because we wanted to get data from our users and kind of mold the experience to them. Um, <laughs> do you have anything to talk um, about? Yeah, yeah. Um, and you, you also mentioned um, uh, whether, whether it's up to par to what a n native app is. I would say it's almost there. Um, so I mean, I think in the, in the next few months with things like React, uh, React and Mixed Mode, all these new kind of like tech kind of stacks are starting to come up to actually make like making an app as easy as making one stack and then having it be on iOS, Android, Windows, mm. everything. And I and I think that's kind of where the tech scene is like mm. starting to like change now. If you guys watch Windows 10 build, right, they have started to like you know now you can have iOS and Android apps in Windows. So um so I think this is the path to go down now. It's not where it should optimally be, but um, I mean, I think it's the route that it makes sense. Honestly, the biggest problem actually is with PhoneGap itself, not Famous or Meteor, because PhoneGap has like an outdated web view, and that kind of makes performance like a little bit less. But honestly, you can't really tell the difference between a native app and ours on, on the actual app store. Um. You have a question in the back? Did you uh, roll your own? Meteor and Famous integration, and are you using a publicly, like the open source version of the current version of Famous? Mm -hmm. So his, his question was, um, how do we basically integrate Meteor and Famous? So on that note, we used a package called Fimono. Um, it was written by, I think, Ra Rakes or something like that. Um, and um, we basically put our Famous code in Meteor.startup, and it's a single route app. So everything is on one web page. And um, yeah, that's, that's basically it. Last question. To extend your social network, do you have a way to reach out or friends of friends or have mm -hmm. your friends also extend out and say, hey, we're going to this with this guy, you all in. Mm -hmm. So um, his question was basically like, is there a discovery type of feature with the app that goes beyond your current friend network? So um, our, our app is kind of two-pronged in the sense that Oops. we connect you with your Facebook friends, friend network, and then also we have that type of discovery feature that links you with kind of people that are, are in your local network. So you can actually talk, talk with, if you wanted to say, set up like a soccer game or something like that, you could post like, hey, is anybody down to play a soccer game at 5 p.m.? And then everyone in your area would be able to see that and swipe through that in their stack based on the privacy settings that you set for that. So um, to answer your question, yes, you can go beyond your friend network, but it's not really friends of friends, it's more of just, um, do you live in the same area? and have the same interests. Thanks so much. Thank you. Yeah, thank you very much.